How's it going guys, Sherlock here. As we all know, recently Roblox has been removing many website and profile features. The main things that they removed recently was the status, Roblox badges, player badges, and now people's inventories. I'm not even joking, some of the stuff that they are removing from people's profiles is actually kind of annoying. I made a video talking about this yesterday, so if you guys didn't see that, make sure to go ahead and check it out quickly. It basically covers all of the profile features that got removed, and there is also a few glitches chucked into that that video as well so go and check it out if you haven't seen it yet so today's upload is going to be about something fairly interesting and it's something that i expected would happen roblox is a game that is very strongly community based as we all know people make the games people make the accessories so basically as roblox has been deleting so many profile features recently roblox players have found ways to bring them back using roblox plugins via google chrome extensions so in this video i'm going to show you guys how these plugins work and how how to get back most of the Roblox profile features that Roblox recently removed. I'm going to remove all of my current plugins in this video and then I'm going to go over to my Roblox profile and we can basically start again. Let's try and get back all of these features that Roblox has removed. All right guys so on my Roblox profile I just want to show you guys all of the features that Roblox removed quickly. So as we know the status it's now gone. If I scroll down on my page we can also see that badges and player badges have gone and now the most recent feature they removed my inventory my roblox inventory with all of my hats in has completely gone now if you want to get to your roblox inventory you actually have to click on the option tab up here and then go on to inventory but it's just more annoying it was much cooler when it was over on my roblox profile so like i said we are going to be using a couple of plugins to actually get all of this stuff back i am also using google chrome i guess you could try this on firefox but i don't think these plugins are on there yet so the first plugin that we are going to install to get some of these features is back is the better roblox plugin also known as bt roblox i'm pretty sure most of you guys watching this video might have this installed i made a video on this maybe two years ago i think it was quite a long time ago but that video got quite a lot of views so i think most of you might have this installed but if you don't make sure to go ahead and get it i have already got this installed but all you do is just click add to chrome and then if you guys want to manage your plugins afterwards all you have to do is click the three dots at the top right then go to more tools and then go to extensions Best to roblox it should be turned on in here but you can change stuff if you want to turn stuff on or off you can go ahead and do it better roblox is now installed to get this working on your roblox profile all you have to do is refresh the page or press f5 on your keyboard so let's go ahead let's press f5 the page is going to refresh and as you can see it's now looking a little bit different and some features are actually going to be back on your profile the status is not here just yet i'm going to show you guys how to get that one in a second but if we scroll down on our page the roblox badges are kind of back i know they're not displaying but the kind of like tab for it is back player badges they have now returned and if we scroll down we can now see our roblox inventory over on our profile and yes this does work when you go to someone else's profile as well so let's just choose someone on my friends list uh maybe like this guy if we go over to his profile and scroll down we can also see his player badges and we can also see his inventory so why did roblox remove this to begin with honestly i'm not sure but that's how you get it back and now for the Roblox status. Now, if you guys didn't know, like I said in my last video, if you are logged out of your Roblox account, you can actually see everyone's previous status. But I don't know, that seems kind of pointless. Like, why would you want to log out of your account just so you can see someone's status? As you can see, I'm logged out and I can see it on my profile, but it's just kind of pointless. Now, there is a brand new way that you can get the status back while being logged into your account. This is a new Google Chrome extension, which has been made by Emoji VIP. He said, my new Chrome extension has been released least another small but useful extension for those who want to view players statuses again now i'm going to install this it looks pretty cool and then i guess we can test it out i'm also going to follow this guy i should probably follow him back since he follows me here it is guys over on the google chrome web store it does have zero reviews and i always say be careful when installing something that has zero reviews this thing is safe so we're just going to go ahead and install it and then what i can do is actually use this on my profile and hopefully it should work back on my roblox profile i'm just going to refresh the page again and as we can see the status is now back now i believe we can edit it i guess we're going to try uh use code sharp blocks or get blocks 
Okay, use code sharp blocks or get blocks. Let me just save this. And yes, it did actually work. So that is very cool. As well as the status coming back on our profiles, we can actually edit them again. This plugin is very simple. It's very small, but it's actually very nice. Just a quick test. If I'm logged out and I refresh the page, will it also update? Yes, it will. So this plugin is actually really good. And there we have it, guys. That is how to get the features back that Roblox removed. Statuses, Roblox badges, player badges, and then of course, our inventory. Why is Roblox removing this stuff? Honestly, I think because it's broken. I said this in a video a long time ago. I think the Roblox website isn't coded very well. Maybe when they first made the website, it wasn't like coded as well as it could have been. So that is why so much stuff is broken and they can't remove it properly and they struggle when updating it. Yeah, it seems a bit messy to me, but there you go. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.